Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these three equilateral triangles with the different dimensions, as you can see in this diagram, such that the sum of their horizontal base is 213 units. And now we are going to calculate the total perimeter of all these three triangles. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and label these triangles. This first one, the medium one, I'm going to call this triangle one. This smallest one, I'm going to call triangle two. And this largest as triangle three. Now let me go ahead and label this very first triangle, the side length as an A. Since we are dealing with an equilateral triangle, then all these sides are going to be A as well. Likewise, let me go ahead and call this uh, smallest triangle, which is 2. I'm going to call this side length B. Since this is an equilateral triangle, so this is side is going to be B, and this side is going to be B as well. And finally, in this uh, triangle 3, let me call this side length C since this is a, an equilateral triangle as well. So this side length is going to be C and this is C as well. And let's focus on this uh, whole base from here all the way to here. This is the sum of uh, this uh, A plus B plus C which is equal to 213. So therefore, I can write A plus B plus C equal to 213. Let me go ahead and call this our equation 1. Now let's go ahead and calculate the perimeter of this uh, triangle 1, which is going to be the sum of all these three sides. So the I'm going to call the perimeter for this triangle as P1 is going to be A plus A plus A. So therefore our perimeter P1 is going to be equal to 3A. Now let's go ahead and calculate the perimeter of this triangle 2. So let me go ahead and call this P2 equals to B plus B plus B. So therefore, our perimeter P2 is going to be 3B. Finally, the perimeter for this triangle 3 is going to be, I'm going to call it P3 is going to be C plus C plus C, which is going to be equal to P3 equals to 3C. Now we are going to calculate the total perimeter of all these three triangles and that's going to be the sum of these uh, three individual uh, perimeters P1, P2 and P3. Therefore total perimeter I'm going to call it P is going to be equal to P1 in our case is 3A, P2 is 3B and P3 is 3C. And we can see 3 is in common, so I'm going to factor it out. So we got A plus B plus C. And now we know that A plus B plus C is 213 from this equation 1. Therefore, I'm going to replace this A plus B plus C by 213. So P is going to be 3 times 200 and 13 so that means our total perimeter is going to be 639 units so thus the total perimeter turns out to be equal to 639 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye